Stevens with a 16-4 win over Elizabethtown tonight. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Uh, coach, a little bit of a slow offensive start, but other than that, I, I can't imagine that you'd be too unhappy about anything this evening. I thought we did all right. You know, I think offensively we got the shots early. We just weren't putting away. I thought their goalie played pretty well. You know, he had 22 saves in the night, so he did a good job. So, But once we got going there and started hitting some shots and we got in a better rhythm offensively, the quicker we played. So that was good, and I thought we you know, did a pretty good job for the most part. You know, So we just got to, again, though, I think for us offensively, we still have to shoot the ball much better and finish him when you have open shots. So we got to get better at that as we go on. But defensively, he did a great job, and Scarice is starting to play some of his best lacrosse. So that's good. Uh, Coach, two things that seem to jump out to us the most tonight in the booth were obviously Connor's dominance at the dot, but then also the job that you guys did on the ride and, yep. and forcing them a lot of failed clears. Yeah, you know, we thought we had to ride them. You know, I thought we could have got a good chance on how they, cl- how they uh, clear. I thought we had a really good opportunity to get some easy ones on them, clearing it and riding them. I mean, I thought we did a really good job of that. And so that's a big part of the game 10 failed clears for them. So that really helps us maintain the ball, wear them down, get their defense obviously a lot tired and thought that played well into our hands. But Connor being, you know, a couple days more healthier and had a hamstring pull. I thought the, you know, three days off again, you know, didn't do anything uh, those days to get healthy. So, you know, that's what we know he can do and how he can play. And uh, so he he wasn't at his best against Salisbury, unfortunately, but I think three days off and then getting him back out there, he did a great job. And that's a big part of what we do. If we can have the ball, we get a really good chance to win. So winning faceoffs is really important. A name that we hadn't called this season, Fedrowski, young yeah. man from Calvert Hall who was really helpful in the wing play and assisted a goal. Um, looks like he's coming along. Yeah, you know, all freshmen, you know, that's the process. You know, when they have time to play and how they're getting into it. And Aiden's been playing pretty well for the last two weeks, and we thought it was a really good opportunity for him to get in there and make some plays. Coach Pulse loves the way he plays, and he's really smart and not selfish, gets the ball off the ground well. So you'll probably be seeing more of him. I thought he played really well. Yeah, I thought he had a really good game. Coach, you know, th- this is – obviously things have changed in your conference and it's a more difficult conference moving forward. You're inching closer to the start of conference play. There's been ups, there's been downs, there's been a little bit of everything. How do you feel on the, the whole about where this team is as you get a little bit close? Well, we'll, we'll find out more about us next week when we have to play Franklin Marshall and Eastern uh, both next week. But I think we're learning to play 60 minutes. I think you know we've done a great job playing 45 minutes against a lot of opponents, but those 15 minutes have killed us. So we got to continue to find a way to play a solid 60 minutes against good opponents. And so that's our goal to do. I think we're getting closer. I'm not, I don't think we're quite there yet, uh, but uh, I think we're getting closer to doing what we need to do. We just have to do it more often. Coach, uh, happy birthday. Birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, always appreciate the time. Twenty-five again. You know, twenty-five Amazing. again. Amazing. Remarkable. Uh, and and Peter was trying to take uh, credit for like the cupcakes, but that was that that was Mrs. Cantabene. Oh, no, yeah. no doubt. Mama Stang did a did a good job. I got. Yeah, I like myself a nice cupcake though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Coach, enjoy your Easter. Thanks for taking the time for us. Appreciate it. Thanks.